Hi everyone, I am Dan, and these videos are for people who are new to testing, and I will demonstrate how to complete each test and how you complete your schedule of test results. This video is how we complete an RCD test. Now we test radials and rings in slightly different ways. For a radial, we need our individual cables for our test meter, and if we do, and we plug them into the DB, which I'll show you in a minute. And if we are going to be testing a ring, we will use this cable that has a plug top on it, and that will just simply be connected into the plug on the ring. Before you start each test, ensure you have your on-site guide with you and open to the correct page. For RCD testing, we need it open to section 11, which is page 127, and we will be completing columns 28 and 29 on our schedule of test results. Now remember, this is our second live test. Our DB will start to be livened up. Ensure all of your sockets and light switches, etc. are all screwed back and we have no exposed live conductive parts. Now, we will move into the DB and I will show you where to connect your machine in order to begin your RCD test. Remembering our board is live down to our main switch we need to turn on the main switch, the RCD and the MCB for what circuit we're going to be using. So I'm going to test the ground floor lighting circuit which is this MCB here. So I'll turn on my main switch, I'll turn on my RCD and I'll turn on the MCB that supplies my ground floor lighting circuit. Now remember, we have now livened up this board and we've livened up part of the buzz bar along the bottom. So we do have some live exposed conductive parts, so be safe when you're doing these tests. To set up the machine, we are going to be doing RCD testing. So on this mega, we're going to use these yellow sections. My RCD is a 30 milliamp. It tells me they're 30 milliamp. So I will set to 30. And what is nice about this machine is I have an auto function. So I'll turn around to the auto function. My green crocodile clip. I'll clip onto the earth bar. My new, my blue clip. I'll go onto the correct neutral bar. Remember, we've got a split load board. I have a neutral bar for this RCD and a neutral bar for this RCD. So we're over here. And now I put my live probe onto the live part of the MCB that I'm going to test and I will push test and once, once I push the test button it will go through all of the tests that the RCD needs to do and all I need to do is turn the RCD back on each time it trips so we will just push test and we'll let it do its thing. So that's just tripped out. So we'll go again. And it's gone again. And it's tripped out. So that time then it did a, what we call a half trip. I'll just show you, it just half trips. So you push it all the way down, push it back up. And we've got a half trip there. And we turn it back on. And now my machine says end. So that has completed the RCD tests. There's one more test we need to do, and that is the function test. Each RCD has a test button. This one has got a little T on it, and we need to push that and make sure the RCD trips out when we push it. And mine has. Right, now I'll just quickly turn off everything, make my board safe, disconnect. Now, on the Mega, we use this arrow button to cycle through my results. And I have a zero degree reading, and we've got half times zero degrees, and it hasn't tripped. And it shouldn't do, because I've only put half the amount of milliamps down there. So I push the arrow button, and we have our one times test. One times zero degrees is 18.4 milliseconds. Push the arrow button again. I'm still on one times test, 
and I'm now at 180 degrees, that's talking about our sine wave, and I'm at 10.7 milliseconds. The reading I need to make a note of on my schedule of test results is the highest of the one times reading. So that will be 18.4. That's fine. Push this button again. I now have a five times, and that is zero degrees, 11.7. And I push it again until I have 5 times 180 degrees, 7.69. It's important that we look at uh, our readings for our 1 times test. It must trip within 300 milliseconds, and for our 5 times test, it must trip within 40 milliseconds. All my readings comply, so I now need to go through my schedule of test results and jot down in column 28 the highest of the one times test. Our schedule of test results, we are going to be looking at the RCD column here, which is column 28 and 29. Now we completed the RCD test on our ground floor lighting circuit, which was circuit number nine. Circuit number 9, column 28, disconnection time, MS in milliseconds. Remember, that is where we record the highest of the one times test. And ours was 18.4. Column 29 says test button operation. We pushed our test button and it made our RCD trip. So that gets a nice tick. And that is all we need to do on the TED schedule of test results for RCD testing. Now if we quickly look at the on-site guide, on section 11, the operations of RCDs, we've got uh, a little um, picture there of how an RCD works. And if we turn the page, we've then got lots of information about RCD tests, the minimum and maximum trip times, etc. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.